hockey. I think it's mainly hockey. Oh, yeah, some sports so, cards. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's all in here. So I didn't know if you Who'd they come to from? Take it from. Um, Were this from your dad's? Are, no, oh. these are mine. Welcome back and welcome to today's adventure. So I got a call from a woman recently who's dealing with her father's place. He's been there for about 30 years, but now he's going into a home. Now she didn't say how much was in the house or exactly what was in there, but she's got to deal with it and get the house on the market. Now in the midst of all this, we've got spring cleanup going on in this town. And that means you can take whatever you want out of your house, your basement, your garage, and stick it on the curb for pickup. Now I want to make sure I get to her place before she starts doing that herself and I get to take some of that treasure home with me. So that's where we're going right now. Let's go check it out. The sticker, it's like this person, it's from 1950-something. Yeah, the Cunard line. Um, it was this in the family? So 56 it says on there? I think it was, um, my grandfather used to um, be on the ships. Like that was his job. He was always on the ships. So okay. I don't know if the trunk came from... from that. Tourist from mm -hmm. Liverpool. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, and then this was uh, everything that was inside, so... Yeah. Yeah, it was hard to tell what, what kind of shape it. the trunk was in and what it was made out of yeah. in the picture. Yeah, it was down in the basement, and honestly, my sister forgot all about it. So who was the photographer? Uh, originally? I don't know where it's from. Oh, really? So you don't know where any of this stuff really came from then? No. Or how he got it? So we've got everything from film to c cotton. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting lens. Okay, flash. So yeah, almost like a like a camera collection with mm -hmm. somebody who was into a little bit of everything, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not sure what half of these would. Uh, belong with eh? I mean there's always people looking for that um, more online when I find people looking for specific parts yeah and, then... and this was in it too I don't know what that if that would have been used for okay any part of the photography or what its purpose is well cannot hotel isn't that different eh hmm I'm not familiar um, and this is more of what was in the trunk. You just pulled. Yep, everything was in the trunk. So we got the eight millimeter movie camera. The brownie. Okay. And then there's the um, the chrome plate there. That's kind of interesting, even just for advertising purposes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. For for collection. It's just going to have that uh, thin plate there inside of it. Okay. I've got a lot of camera stuff right now, but I'm still somewhat interested in that. Okay. Okay. I know I have one of these. Oh. I don't know if you're... <laughs> yeah, an old uh, insulator. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Insulator there. There's some costume jewelry that I can take. And where did this, this come from? Here. So this was my mom's. Mm -hmm. So this is mainly costume stuff. Um, but you said vintage pieces as well. So there's some interesting ones like this one and these earrings. Okay. Yeah, that's some nice looking stuff. There. Yeah. I mean, um, I buy some for me. Uh, a lot of it goes to my mom because she's in the business and she deals in a lot of jewelry. Oh, okay. So I usually just uh, buy a lot of it and give it to her. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just bring it and you could go through it and see if there's anything you're after. Yeah. Yeah, open that's a different piece you. there. How long uh, has your dad lived here for? He's been here um, over 30 years. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so a little while then, yeah. Yeah. So is this just a, a, just a, a mix, mix of... of dishes? Yeah, I didn't okay. know if you had any interest in dishes or not. Uh, it depends on what it for. is. Um, like traditional dishes in China, not so much. Mm -hmm. um, there's just really no market for it anymore. Um, more 50s, 60s, 70s kind of, um, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff uh, is a little bit more collectible. I see you've got like a single juice glass there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, sets of those. Yeah, I can go through and see if there's any sets. Yeah, 
Um, I can always do that if you're kind of going into something else. I've got um, the cards and everything in here, um, like hockey. I think it's mainly hockey. Oh, yeah, some sports so, cards. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's all in here. So I didn't know if you... Who'd they come from? Take it from... Um, Were this from your dad's? Are, no. Oh. These are mine. Okay. Uh, well, actually, my son's. Someone gave them to him, like an old neighbor, when they were kids. Okay, in yeah. They're 20s now. Okay. But I know there's, there's a lot, so you can always take and go through it if you want. Well, taking a quick look at this bag mm -hmm. here, um, most of what in here doesn't really have any value. So we're rifling through some stuff on the coffee table and she mentioned she's got some sports cards. If you've been following me for a while now, you know I love my vintage hockey cards and collections. So she hands me the bags, I open them up, what do I find? It's all common stuff from the 1990s. For the longest time, Opeechee in Canada had the monopoly on hockey cards, but in 1990, all these other sets started coming out. Pro set, score, upper deck, and then dozens followed that. Unfortunately, they were so mass produced that they're actually shredding these at conventions in the 1990s just to make them more rare. So it's not what I'm looking for right now. If you've got them in your basement, put them away for another 20 years and then pull them out and see what happens. So most of these here are just, yeah. yeah if you can find somebody that appreciate them, give it to them. If not, you could donate them. Um, there might be a few worth looking at, like some of the football, but even they might be a little bit new. And then Pokemon and Magic cards. Um, conditions everything on them because mm -hmm. Pokemon uh, can be pretty collectible but once there's a crease or a mark well then right. that's the end of that um okay and then this here is I think it, yeah I had them in a binder probably needed the binder for so the many people collected <laughs> these when they came out because mm -hmm. it was a big deal it was like the yeah. first card company to make cards outside of Opeechee so, I mean, when I was young, I bought these like crazy. So, mm -hmm. a couple are just starting to get a little bit of value, like some okay. rookies in the 5 or $10 mark. But okay. I would find somebody that would just appreciate them and um, give them to them. So, I've got a few patterns. Excuse me, a few patterns. And what does a lid on that one look like? Okay, so there's been more of a handle yeah. to it. Yeah, okay. that must have been. <laughs> All right. So it's like, yeah, you've got it. It's rough shape. But... Yeah, yeah, I would donate this one. That's uh, that's federal glass. It's similar okay. to a Pyrex bowl. Um, and this is an, um, like an ironstone bowl there. Uh, it's not bad. I'll keep a couple things in here in mind okay. as we go. Okay, yeah, so there's a couple things here I might be able to use uh, in this room so okay. far. And that would be probably. So we're looking at a decanter. Okay. Any idea where the stopper went for the decanter? Um, no. I guess it's with other things, disappeared but, at some point. Yeah. But your sister may want that, you said? You're not sure? Probably not, but okay. I just want to clear it. So basically what I was going to do is anything I wasn't sure of and then you had any interest in, I was just going to write it down. I can even text her too. Okay, so, do so you need to clear everything with her before we could make a deal on anything. Is that about what you're saying? Um, okay. Just for some things. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like I, I'll test it right now. Yeah, like I don't normally go after a pinwheel crystal like this here, but mm -hmm. because it's a decanter, I, I do okay with the barware. Okay. So I might be interested gotcha. in that. What's that? Okay. Oh, I thought you uh, said something else. Gotcha. <laughs> I thought you said chip. I was oh, like, no, I was, no, oh, no. is there a chip? Okay. No, I said gotcha. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna put a few things on the table here and then Absolutely. make things a little bit easier. Have you got some flatware in there? Yes. Is anybody claiming that? Um, I will check as I text her now. Okay. But I can take it out if you want to help. Yeah, I don't buy much of it, but I do. I will take a look, you mm -hmm. never know. Yeah, because with this stuff I wasn't sure. I know the, the market's changed over the years, right? It has, yeah. There's okay. certain patterns, or if it's silver, um, you know, it'll sell. Is it on the table? Uh, I'll just take the look at it from here. 
Okay, so. So the box says International Sterling. So I'm just gonna take a look at one of the pieces and see what they say. Okay, so I checked that. Yeah, it's um, it's just a silver plate. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. Yeah, if it's sterling silver, then it's got some decent value. Um, but this is just silver plated, so um, I'll pass on this set here. If it is sterling, like I guess you, I know you'd have to see it. Uh -huh. um, my sister had got me a set. She lives in Europe, so it's from Europe. I've never used it, never will. Mm. <laughs> so maybe it happens. Have you have a look at that sometime too? I'll bring it in. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. No, anyway, yeah, anything I silver I buy. Mm -hmm. Nice little bottle of the boat there, huh? Did he assemble that? Yeah. Good for him. Is he yeah. taking it to the home? Is he got a spot for it? Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Probably keep that in the family. Yeah, good. Mm. <laughs> so, um, these four pieces. Oh, okay. This nice little bracelet there. It's hard to tell if that one's old or not. We have to take a better look at the light. So that's probably music box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that does open. It's just a little tricky, like where the bow goes. It opens. Do you want me to get open? Yeah, for sure. It? I was trying to open it yesterday. Jewelry box. Oh, okay. So. So that's not too old, unfortunately. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Okay, so. The only thing that might be old would be. Um, yeah, this one's got some age here. Um, more of a souvenir. And that's why it says Montreal on it. So we picked up as a souvenir shop somewhere. Um, or in like um, a small store. So, and then this jewelry box here again. I'm going to leave that one. That one's not too old either. And jewelry boxes in general, they've got to be a little bit more ornate or substantial to have any value. So, okay. um, I'll put that with the costume jewelry and uh, take a closer look at sure. it, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, that's it in this room, or I is there more? I think so. I don't think there's any, like the trucks and cars are, are all um, spoken for. Okay, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you have any interest in oil lamps. Not too much oil lamps, um, but as I'm scanning the rooms, if something jumps out at me, I'll point yeah, it out just in case uh, it's not spoken for. Um, Furniture's very old, <laughs> but I doubt anyone yeah. wants it. It's the right age, it's just not quite what I'm looking for. Yeah. yeah. There's Andy. <laughs> There's what? Oh, There's here, Andy. Kaz. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. Yeah, not, not too much in here. Nothing that would fit in that age category, right. so... this dresser but it'll probably just go to the curb <laughs> yeah well with spring cleanup um that's going to come in really mm -hmm. handy for yes. you right now yeah. so by now you've heard us mention the spring cleanup a few times and sometimes amongst all that trash is a little bit of treasure and i was very fortunate one time about 10 years ago to come across all that treasure on the side of the road bust open a garbage bag, get information, and get into an estate full of stuff that was ready for the dumpster. I paid $2,000 for it and sold it for almost $20,000 and got a TV spot out of it. If I didn't do all that work, it all would have went to the landfill. There's an old chair in the basement. It's like, um, it would have been, yeah, if you're interested. <laughs> uh, well, I'm buying more and more of this stuff from 90s. the 80s and 90s mm -hmm. stuff. I really am starting mm -hmm. to. So that's actually something I'd probably pay a few dollars for if it's available. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, I think the wash stand is available. But I guess it's kind of shifted more from antiques to... It has. Room, right? um, yeah. The sound of things. Yes. And I'm being pretty particular on the furniture right now. Mm -hmm. Um so the traditional pieces, not so much. Um, yeah, I mean, you could put it on a place like a Marketplace and probably still get $50, $60 out of it. I wouldn't mm -hmm. yeah. put it up for the spring cleanup, no. that's for sure. And that, what's the story on that thing there, the, so, the black velvet? There was um, a painter that was a friend of the family. I'd have to find out his last name. Mm -hmm. um, he went by Hammy, that's all I know. Okay. So, um, and he's, he's was fairly local, like he lived in the forest area. Okay, yeah. Sarnia forest area. 
So um, yeah, he gave my dad, it was a gift for something. I think uh, he did some work for him. Okay. And uh, yeah, he gave him that picture. Okay. So, but yeah, that would definitely. Is that available or is that going it's, to It's available. Dad? Okay. Yeah. So. I think, let me double check. So I, that could I be Chinese then? Yes. Yeah, he was Chinese. Mm hmm Interesting. Yeah, and he went by Hammy. I know my brother would have more information. Okay. About... Yeah, so maybe you're interested in that. Okay. Um, and then if, do you want to put that with some other sure. things? Uh, the the vase there, just so we yeah, we know where everything good. is. Yeah, he did this. So this is of my dad. That, that oh, wow. Ago. He drew that one. So that one's spoken for. I mean, yeah, obviously. obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, oh, he did a great job, cool. though. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so so that's got to be from the 70s, early yeah. 80s maybe, eh? I think so. You just talk about the hairstyle. So. Yeah, 70s for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so time. All right. Yeah, that's this room. Okay. What are you doing with, uh, are those real firearms? Um, actually, my son's going to be taking those. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so he wasn't a hoarder, that's for sure. No. Yeah, yeah, he kept it pretty minimal for being here for 30 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we did get rid of, like, um, um, my sister that's in Europe. She was here in September, and we did get rid of a lot of things because a lot of things end up in the basement or just, uh -huh. you know, clutter, right? So yeah. So a, a lot was donated. Okay. You know, those extras, you know, so many plates, so much cutlery, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Now, I'm always super grateful for every call I get, big or small, but the one thing that drives me crazy is hearing that somebody threw out or donated a whole bunch of stuff before I got there. Call me first and let me decide what's trash and what's not. Um, yeah, so in the family, like a lot was made, like the cedar chests were made by my grandfather, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that came from my sister and um, from Europe. I'm not sure if she wants that bad. Oh, he's a German style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really 80s there, the Corvette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd be interested in that. Uh, that. These were often uh, prizes at like fairs. Yeah. yeah, that's what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm all about the 80s stuff. I love it. Yeah. Here. Okay. So that's just another thing I'm just going to double check on. Um, oh, and here there's that. Coffee table, like old. Okay. Yeah, it's the right age. It's getting closer to what I'm looking for as far as the style. Mm -hmm. It's still a little bit more on the traditional side for me. Is the last of the records? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, if you want to look at it. Uh, okay. The seat's very dirty and everything. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just as a single one. Mm -hmm. uh, one. <laughs> yeah, I, I would them. donate that one or put that one out for spring cleanup. Okay. Yeah, it look, looks like an old school chair with the resin there oh, on it. Be, yeah. yeah, or an office. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. From the probably the fifties or sixties. There's not much down here then, really. Not really. Okay. That's like Christmas decor. Um, yeah, I was. There's this, which is interesting. I was thinking of maybe taking it, but um, okay. we're going to be moving. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is cast iron. Like so a couple of horses pulling a, a wagon. Because I remember playing with this in the 80s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is, uh, this would have been made probably in the 70s. Um, made to look antique. It's not old. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, exactly. But I mean, if you're thinking of keeping it, um, go ahead. It, it doesn't have a ton of value. Okay. Uh, the the early cast stuff is, but um, if you decide you you don't want it, you could let me know. But okay. uh, I'm more into um, superhero action figure. Imagine the adventures you'll have with all time favorites like Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and more. Uh, you know, Lego, okay. uh, those types of things, and then old like you know wind up toys, robots, space toys. Um, How old for superhero? As new as the nineties going right back okay yeah i buy toys and comics and stuff right right into the 90s and then anything before that as well 90s or before okay mm -hmm. that's good to know because i grew up with gi joe transformers he-man yeah. i love all that's my favorite stuff because i grew up with it mm -hmm. i collect a little bit as well okay
Well, you yeah, know, some may have some of that somewhere. We do, but it's like, okay, at this point, do we keep it for grandkids? <laughs> you uh -huh. know, <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. but I mean, yeah, I may have some of that. I can, I can let you know. I okay. can just take pictures if anything's. Oh, those are wood panels made to look like, um, made to look like tin. tin. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is a very old trunk of my mom's. Okay, yeah. Super old chest, yeah. Mm -hmm. Super old vacuum. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. I've shot. got a few. I've got a few. Yeah. Old, I've got a few old canister ones. I've got to uh, do something with still already. <laughs> um, so this is his workshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My son is doing like um, old cars, that sort of thing. So he's taken some of the old signs and everything already, mm, like to decorate okay. their new basement. So yeah. They just got their house. Okay. I think that's mostly empty. Yeah, you never know what you find in a workshop that's useful. Oh, exactly, yeah. I, mean, I usually find something. There was like a door knocker, but it wasn't that old. It's brass. So I don't okay. think you'd have any use for that. Uh, maybe. Oh, um... I saw a brass bell on a shelf over there. Uh, that wasn't it. Oh, yeah, there's that brass bell. Uh, okay, yeah, so that oh, one's engraved. Okay. Yeah, that one's not too old. It is. Okay. It's already engraved. Oh, I didn't okay. notice that before. All right. And then you've got a. Uh, Brass anchor and bell. Looks like it's broken. The hanger's broken on it though. I know she's got, what about like hats, things like that? What type's that? Like men's hats? No, actually, these are women's. Now the hats I do buy right now is actually like the the men's mesh hats from the seventies and eighties. Oh okay. Yeah. But yeah, these would be more women's hats from the eighties. Okay. I'll take a quick look. Sure. Okay. Oh, she's. a lot of photography prop that sort of thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, um, that should have a little bit more character, I think. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, these are just dishes. Um, okay. Style. Yeah, yeah, I stay away from those in general. Uh -huh. I've got a bunch to go through from a previous estate, um, and, you know, I'll practically be giving them away by the yeah. time I actually get something for them. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, now these are the older. Again, that's. Yeah, stuff, it's like. So I'd have to check. Them. Like a cream and sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it could have a, a little bit of value, but probably not, not quite bad. worth um, my while anyway. I'm just being a little particular. I've got oh, a lot sure. of small items right now, so no, I'm looking a lot more for the guy no. stuff um, oh, okay. uh, than anything. Um, and items, I think, that'll move pretty quickly, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to <clears> hang <throat> on to things for you. But hopefully it's kind of giving you an idea of what you're working with here, too, oh, so exactly. you know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. uh, especially oh, with only having a week or so before spring cleanup's done. Mm -hmm. You want to get as much out, donated or on the road as possible, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah kind of give anything away that's... Uh, Okay. Yeah, because the weather's good. You'll have people taking stuff off your hands all day long. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I drive around during uh, the spring cleanup, and if I see something, I'll grab it. Oh, I bet. So we got costume jewelry, some new, just a little bit of vintage. Nice. That's not old. Sterling, maybe. Okay. 
crystal decanter. Bowl. And then upstairs there's the velvet painting. Hmm. It's a real mixed bag of this stuff. And uh, that little Corvette picture in the basement. No, I'm just going to see. Okay. <laughs> She's not working. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Um, she just, she wants to know um, the number, for, or is it a number altogether? Or the one for the, the picture upstairs? I, I mean, $15 for the picture upstairs max, okay. probably. Yeah. It'd actually probably be worth more if it was Elvis. Let me yeah. put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> or or something kind of wild and different. Like, yeah. I don't care. But yeah. When you're doing it with someone else, it's a little bit trickier, Of course. Right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she said no to that one. She said no on that one? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. If anything changes, I'll let you know if that's okay. Mm -hmm. I apologize that, you know, the joint effort. <laughs> yeah. So as far as the rest of it goes, um, so the camera stuff here, there's only a few pieces I can really use. I would just take it all and then try and lot up some of the extras and find somebody to take it for a few dollars. Okay. Um, the truck itself doesn't have a whole lot of value. I mean, there's a lot of these out there and the inside's pretty rough. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd be offering $40 for what I could use in this little collection of the camera stuff. Okay. And I'd be offering... Um, $40 for the things on the table here, uh, including that little Corvette picture downstairs. So she said, okay? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, yeah, everything's good if you want. Okay, so yeah. 40 and 40 then? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good then. Sounds good. She's wanted a little bit more for the velvet painting, that's all. I guess. Okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Uh, I couldn't because offer more because yeah. it's nothing really, you know, spectacular. So that's no big deal. She wants to hold off. Okay. Yeah. Now, if anything changes and it's like, you know, go ahead and do whatever, do you want me to just let you know? Like, I... uh, oh, if anything changes on anything yeah, else like I was interested in? your mind about the, the painting. Uh, yeah, you can just let me know. Okay. Yeah. Um, or, or if you come across anything else, because you have a pretty good idea of what it is I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah. So whether you dig it out of here or at your place yeah, or exactly. anybody else's place, yeah, you can just let me know. Okay, okay so um, I've got a couple bins in my car. I can just bring one in anyway. Okay, so that's a wrap on today's adventure. If you like what you saw, leave that in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, give this video a big thumbs up as well. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that button, do that now. If you love the thrill of a hunt and digging through estates, check out one of these videos right here.